Welcome back to East West Sports. Now, in the past year alone, we've seen two of the biggest professional sports leagues in America, the NBA and the NFL, take huge strides into the Chinese market. And now it's Major League Baseball's turn to step up to the plate. BON's Howard Pan has more in this week's big feature. This is the fourth year that Major League Baseball has brought its amusement park style roadshow to China. Last year, the program toured 20 cities across the country and drew over 2.5 million fans. At each stop, there is a variety of activities for the fans to take part to and get to know the sport. Whether it's just playing catch with a glove and a ball, or going to a batting cage to take some swings, there is something for everyone to enjoy. Getting a Chinese player into MLB may be the home run that the sport needs in order to become popular in China. Every year, the league also sends over a group of envoy coaches here to groom promising youngsters. It may be some time before the Yao Ming of baseball steps up to a major league batter's box. Baseball is still a relatively new sport in China. At the event, the organizers set up a mini wiffle tourney to teach fans how America's favorite pastime is played. Teams from MLB China's Playball program, which now has expanded to over 120 schools across five cities, took part. Major League Baseball is putting an emphasis on developing the game at the grassroots level. Great talent all over the world, whether it's in football or whether it's in basketball, it doesn't start in a, in a stadium. It starts on the Fulu. It starts on the back street. And it starts sometimes with a foam bat and a foam ball or a beach ball. And uh, that's where the greatest players in the world are born. And so that's exactly what we're doing here today. We're, we're putting a bat and a ball in, in a young boy's hands and, and maybe one day he'll be uh, the Yao Ming of baseball. Despite the progresses, the sport is still in its first inning in China. With the real estate boom and skyrocketing land prices, it's unlikely China will see a lot of baseball fields. But when there is a will, there is a way. We're able to invent what we call a port ball baseball field. You know, we, we, uh, one of our interns invented uh, multiple uh, movable uh, baseball outfielder fans, backdrops, and we have uh, this is a mobile uh, pitching mount which you know, put the thing together uh, like what we call the internally baseball in a box. We're able to convert any soccer field into a very uh, legitimate baseball field within uh, one hour. Baseball's other curveball is a demanding academic schedule that local kids face. But more and more Chinese parents are starting to realize that the sport teaches kids key life values such as teamwork, fair play, and dedication. Plus, the physical benefits of playing the sport is another draw for the parents. Baseball is very much in line with Chinese sports culture, where winning on the world stage is the ultimate prize. Their neighbor is Japan's reigning world champion, and Korea took home gold at the most recent Olympics. Although the sport is yet to be a hit in China, but its future is looking brighter and brighter. Oh, I am so optimistic about that. I think baseball is the perfect sport for any, any Asian, uh, any culture in Asia. I mean, if you look at Japan, Korea, uh, I mean, it's all, it's the guochio. It's, uh, you know, it's the national pastime there. So China, all they need to do is we need to drop the seed and we need a, a Chinese baseball player in the major leagues and it's going to take off and it's going to become the national pastime. Reporting for East West Sports on BON. I'm Howard Penn. Let's welcome Howard into the studio now. So Howard, we've seen the NBA, uh, we've seen the NFL come into China. Now it looks like it's the MLB's turn. So do they have a future here though? No, Aaron, I think baseball you know, does have a future here in China, but uh, they're still very much in their infancy here. And a couple years ago, Major League Baseball also opened a, a development center in the city of Wuxi. And they're hoping that uh, by having the development center, they can uh, train promising middle school and high school baseball players. And one day, somebody from that program will play in the uh, major leagues. And uh, the problem for baseball in China is really the uh, China doesn't have a whole lot of uh, diamond fields with bases. And uh, baseball is one of the few sports that's hard to play on a regular athletic field. And right now, with baseball no longer an Olympic sport, you know, there will be even less funding from the government to uh, help the sport to grow. But what Major League Baseball really need is a star in the uh, major leagues, you know, just like what Yao Ming did for uh, basketball to help generate more interest for the sport. So baseball right now looks like they do have a long way to go here in China. For the rest of this episode and more, check out our website at bon.tv/ews.